how to get admission in an iit for masters of architecture this video will go over on all the criteria that will make you eligible to get admitted into an iit so try watching this video till the end and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead subscribe to my channel this supports me this supports the channel and this supports the video to reach someone who actually need this information and without any delays guys let's get started with the video now let's talk about the first criteria the eligibility criteria who can do masters so everyone who is asking me i am from civil engineering background i have done bachelor's in civil engineering can i do masters of architecture so my friend my answer is no you can't do masters of architecture if you are from civil background or if you are from any other background other than architecture next question that i keep getting what is the percentage that i should get to be eligible for masters of architecture in an iit so the eligibility criteria for iits is just 60% or 6 gpa in your overall final mark sheet so that is the eligibility criteria for iits for masters of architecture it's not very high but i'm coming to the tough part of iit education next part is the examination which exam should i give so you have to give a exam named as gate if you haven't heard of it just google it you will understand which exam i am talking about i have made a video but i think so it's now 2 or 3 years old so i will be making a new video about gate examination and how you can score good marks and how you can prepare for gate and what are the questions and what kind of exam is gate so i will be making a separate video updated video about this but gate is the exam that you have to give to be considered for masters of architecture from any iit all across india so this is something that you have to keep in mind and the score for gate should be at least 90 or up and for your information gate is just of 100 marks so you get the gist of it how difficult it might be to get into a top rated iit for your masters of architecture and one good part for uh, people who are coming into like different categories like st or obc your eligibility criteria after architecture or bachelors of architecture would be just 55% or 5.5% cgpa so that is one beneficial point and in gate also there are certain seat reserved with a lower cut off point for a reserved categories so this is something that will be beneficial for all of you and uh, next criteria is once you have given your exam from gate uh, and you have scored at least 80 plus points you are still eligible to go ahead and register on the iit website they have developed a portal which is called common offer of acceptance this is a centralized portal you have to go uh, go on that portal have you have to register on that portal and fill in all your details and then uh, iits will create a mark sheet or a list of people who have gotten admitted into one of the iits that offer masters of architecture so this is the overall process that you have to go through and once you have been selected you have to go ahead and respond to that offer letter and uh, even the students who are into final year of their architecture or bachelors of architecture are eligible to apply for this if you have given your gate already for gates it's not necessary that you have to complete your bachelors of architecture so if you have given your gate already you can go ahead and register on this portal and apply for your masters you will have at least 4 to 5 months after you have gotten your admission to submit all your transcripts that you that your college will be giving and your original documents whatever the iits will be asking you so this is the overall process and if okay one more thing and if you are not able to produce all your original documents 
within the four or five month limit that will be giving to you, your admission will be null and void. Uh, there will be interview process for some of the candidates who are already into IIT and doing their bachelors. So these students will be subjected to an internal interview and they will have to score at least eight pointer or eight CGPA in their bachelors from IIT itself to get direct admission into masters of architecture. So for the people who are already in IIT, it will be a difficult task. If they don't want to give a gate, they will have to score at least eight 0.0 CGPA. So that's a tough part for people who have already been studying in IIT. So it's not even simpler for them. But this is the overall crux of how you can get admitted into an IIT. And I'll be making an updated video about gate exam as well. So if you have any kinds of doubts or queries, go ahead, mention it in the comment section. All the information and the links that will lead to all the uh, government portals are mentioned in the description so go ahead and check them out and guys if you haven't subscribed or like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you soon take care of yourself bye bye